With tensions on the peninsula easing during the Olympics, the possibility of U.S. North Korea talks have been somewhat raised. Washington's top diplomat claims he is waiting for the regime to approach them, but pressure and sanctions will remain in place until then. Kwon Jang-ho delves deeper into how things could unfold. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has reiterated that the White House is willing to work with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. During an interview with CBS on Sunday, he stressed that although military options remain on the table, a diplomatic resolution was best and that Washington is waiting to hear from Pyongyang that the regime is ready to talk. However, Tillerson also said that until then, the U.S. will keep up its campaign of pressure and sanctions. He said the U.S. is not using a carrot to convince Pyongyang to talk, but using large sticks, and added that North Korea keeping its nuclear arsenal buys the regime nothing other than further diplomatic and economic isolation. This was further emphasized by U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, who at a Republican fundraiser on Saturday said that despite the recent thawing of tensions on the Korean Peninsula, there is no change in policy towards Pyongyang, and the strongest measures will remain until North Korea decides to give up its ballistic and nuclear missile programs. North Korea watchers say the possibility of U.S.-North Korea talks are now closer than ever, but with Pyongyang having no interest in giving up its nuclear weapons, for now, it's unlikely to progress further than exploratory talks. North Korea has no reason not to take part in exploratory talks. The U.S. also has nothing to lose. If something does come out of them, it will be great. And even if there's no progress, the U.S. will continue its pressure campaign. Meanwhile, Pyongyang is keeping up its anti-U.S. rhetoric. North Korea's state-run newspaper, the Nodong Shinmun, accused the Trump administration on Monday of obstructing the improvement of inter-Korean relations with acts of continued pressure. The commentary also pointed to the joint U.S.-South Korean military drills, which are set to return after the Olympics. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.